Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. If you look closely in the rabbit colony, you'll notice something different. So Pepper, one of our breeding does, she's the spotted one, is no longer in the main rabbit colony. So a few days ago, I noticed Pepper was hiding in one of the hidey houses, and she wasn't coming out, which is very unlike her. Usually she's running around, fighting with the other rabbits, um, being very active, but she was just hunkered down in her little hidey house, and... So I thought something must be wrong. When I went to check on her, I noticed she had scratches on her nose and some on her back and just all over her body. They weren't bad scratches, like she isn't going to like get infected probably, but they're just kind of just, you know, they're there. So what I think happened was she got into a really big fight with a rabbit. It could have been probably Rinna or Lolo because um, they're pretty dominant. So she was like, hey, I'm dominant. And they're like, no, we are. So Pepper usually does like to fight a lot. So I think she got into a big fight with the other rabbits and she lost. And she was hiding in her hidey house for a while and I kept thinking, oh yeah, she's coming out to eat, but she kept hiding in there and she wouldn't come out. And so she was starting to get kind of skinny. I was getting worried about her. So I decided to take her out of the colony and put her in a other place. So Pepper is now in her little hospital room um, place. It's like one of the smaller colony type things. She has a little hidey house in there and food and water and minerals and all the stuff she'll need. Um, so now she can't get hurt by the other rabbits as she recuperates. And if I had to pick any rabbit that's most likely to get wounded from fighting, it would be Pepper because she loves to pick fights with the other rabbits. Um, she'll snort at them for no reason. She'll just, she's kind of very dominant and kind of aggressive towards the other rabbits, not to hurt them, but just um, she likes to be in charge and make sure everyone knows it. So I'm not really worried about her scratches. Um, I don't think they're gonna like cause problems. She's acting pretty okay, except for that she wasn't eating or drinking. She was kind of just hiding. I don't know if she was trying to recuperate or what, but so now she has the chance to eat and, and drink as much as she wants, and then once she heals all the way and gets back to normal size, then we'll put her back in the colony. And hopefully this teaches her that she can't keep fighting the other rabbits. She was my most fighty rabbit with all the other rabbits. I don't know if that's her personality or what, but um... So hopefully this teaches her she can't keep fighting the other rabbits or she'll get hurt. But if she does continue to be aggressive and fight, I mean, she hasn't hurt the other rabbits. She's the one who always gets hurt. She got a little nick in her ear a few months ago when she was fighting with Lolo too much. So I think she's brought this upon herself, which is kind of not really fun. But hopefully she changes her ways, put her back in the colony, and she'll not fight other rabbits anymore because she's learned her lesson, and it'll be awesome. Now, if she doesn't, learn her lesson if she keeps fighting with them and if she gets hurt again if she hurts another rabbit then she is going out of the colony um we might i probably do want to sell her to someone who doesn't have a colony set up or something because she is a really great doe and i do like her a lot but we can't have a fighting rabbit in our rabbit colony because that is a danger not only to themselves but to other rabbits as well but i guess this is just part of the process of raising rabbits and raising um a good hardy rabbit stock which is my goal so whenever a rabbit gets sick or stuff I don't try to like do medication or take them to the vet and I don't try to like you know separate them forever and keep them as like kind of pets and breed them and stuff I if they get sick or something then I mean we try to heal them and stuff but then we either sell them or eat them because we can't have sick rabbits who keep getting sick and the same thing with aggressive rabbits or rabbits who have bad personalities or bad attitudes we don't want to pass that bad trait on to other rabbits or have to deal with that ourselves so if pepper can't change then she's gonna have to leave so that is the update pepper got in one too many fights she had to be removed because she was not eating or drinking and now she's eating and drinking fine and hopefully as soon as she recuperates we're gonna put her back in and everything will be great um i will update you further on this i just wanted to do a little video about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!